Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from our channel who died today. In this video we will be bringing you a list of famous people who have died from kidney disease in the history. Before we proceed we kindly ask you to show your love and support by like, share, and subscribe to update newest videos. Now get start. Number 1 Shirley Hemphill. Shirley Hemphill, born on July 1, 1947, and passing away on December 10, 1999 was an American actress and stand-up comedian, best known for her role as Shirley Wilson in the television sitcom, What's Happening? Hemphill's career was highlighted by her sharp wit and distinctive comedic timing, making her a beloved figure on television. Her character on, What's Happening? was known for being sassy and straightforward, bringing laughter and authenticity to the show. Beyond her most famous role, Hemphill appeared in various other television projects and continued to perform stand-up comedy. Her contributions to television comedy in the 1970s and 1980s were significant, paving the way for future African-American comedians. Hemphill's life was sadly cut short due to complications related to kidney disease. Her legacy in the entertainment industry is remembered through her memorable performances, particularly in What's Happening, and her influence on television comedy. Number 2 Ronald Townsend Ronald Townsend, born on January 29, 1933, and passing away on August 2, 2001, was a key member of the American vocal group The Fifth Dimension. Townsend's contributions as a vocalist helped define the sound of the group, which achieved significant success in the 1960s and 1970s with hits like Up, Up and Away, Aquarius, Let the Sunshine In, and Wedding Bell Blues. The group's blend of pop, R&B, soul, and jazz, along with their harmonious vocals, made them a unique and popular act of their time. Townsend's career with The Fifth Dimension was marked by multiple Grammy Awards and chart-topping singles, showcasing his talent as a singer. After the group's peak years, he continued to perform and occasionally reunited with other members for special performances. Townsend's death from kidney disease brought an end to a career that left a lasting imprint on American pop music. Ronald Townsend is remembered for his contributions to The Fifth Dimension's distinctive sound and his role in the group's enduring musical legacy. Number 3 Ivan Dixon. Ivan Dixon, born on April 6, 1931, and passing away on March 16, 2008, was an American actor, director, and producer, known for his significant contributions to film and television. Dixon gained widespread recognition for his role as Staff Sergeant James Kinchlowy on the hit television series, Hogan's Heroes, where he was one of the few African-American actors in a prominent role on a major television show at that time. Besides his work in Hogan's Heroes, Dixon appeared in various other television shows and films, including a notable performance in the 1964 film, Nothing But a Man. In addition to acting, Dixon was a prolific director and producer, working on numerous projects that often focused on African-American themes and issues. His directorial work included episodes of popular television series and several films. Dixon's career was marked by his commitment to portraying diverse and complex characters. His death from complications related to kidney failure marked the end of a career that had a significant impact on breaking racial barriers in the entertainment industry. Ivan Dixon is remembered for his trailblazing work in television and film, both in front of and behind the camera. Number 4 Orish Grinstead Orish Grinstead, born on June 2, 1980, and passing away on April 20, 2008, was an American singer, best known as a founding member of the R&B group 702. The group, named after their hometown's area code in Las Vegas, Nevada, achieved success in the late 1990s with hits such as, Where My Girls At? and, Get It Together. Grinstead's contributions as a vocalist helped define the group's sound, which combined elements of R&B, soul, and hip-hop. Despite the group's success, Grinstead eventually left 702 to pursue other interests. Her career in the music industry was marked by her soulful voice and contributions to the group's early success. Grinstead's untimely death at a young age due to complications from kidney disease was a significant loss to those who knew her and to fans of 702. Orish Grinstead's legacy is remembered through her contributions to 702's music and the impact the group had on the R&B scene during their peak years. Number 5 Mega Coulombs Breed M.C. Breed, born Eric Breed on June 12, 1971, and passing away on November 22, 2008, was an influential American rapper, 
credited with being one of the first successful rappers to emerge from the Midwest. His career began in the early 1990s, and he quickly made a name for himself with the hit single, Ain't Number Future in Yo, Frontin, which brought him national recognition. MC Breed's style was notable for blending elements of East Coast and West Coast rap, creating a unique sound that resonated with a wide audience. Throughout his career, Breed released several albums and collaborated with various artists, contributing significantly to the development of hip-hop music. His work is remembered for its authenticity and innovation in the genre. MC Breed's life and career were cut short due to complications from kidney failure. His legacy in the hip-hop community is marked by his pioneering contributions to the genre and his influence on subsequent artists in the Midwest rap scene. Number 6 Oscar Emanuel Peterson Oscar Emanuel Peterson, born on August 15, 1925, and passing away on December 23, 2007, was a legendary Canadian jazz pianist and composer. Known for his extraordinary technique and virtuosic skill, Peterson is widely regarded as one of the greatest jazz pianists of all time. He had a prolific career that spanned over six decades, during which he released numerous albums, won eight Grammy Awards, and performed with some of the biggest names in jazz, including Ella Fitzgerald, Louis Armstrong, and Count Basie. Peterson's style combined elements of swing, bebop, and blues, making his performances both dynamic and soulful. He was also known for his compositions, which have become jazz standards. In addition to his musical achievements, Peterson was an advocate for racial equality and was outspoken about the challenges he faced as a black musician. His death due to kidney failure marked the end of an era in jazz music. Oscar Peterson's legacy lives on through his extensive recordings his influence on jazz piano, and his contributions to music as both a performer and an educator. Number 7 Billy Preston. Born on September 2, 1946, and passing away on June 6, 2006, was an American musician and songwriter whose impact on the music industry was profound. Known as the Fifth Beatle, for his significant contributions to the Beatles' recordings, Preston was a highly skilled keyboardist whose work spanned various genres, including R&B, rock, soul, and funk. His career began as a child prodigy playing the organ, and he later achieved fame with hits like, Nothing From Nothing, and, Will It Go Round In Circles. Preston collaborated with some of the biggest names in music, including The Beatles, The Rolling Stones, and Eric Clapton, showcasing his versatility and talent as a musician. His energetic performances and mastery of the keyboard made him a sought-after session musician and a solo artist in his own right. Preston battled with kidney disease in his later years, and it was complications related to this illness, as well as hypertension, that led to his untimely death. Billy Preston's legacy in the music industry is marked by his exceptional musicianship, his contributions to some of the most iconic music of the 20th century, and his influence as one of the greatest keyboard players in the history of rock and roll. Remember, each day is an opportunity to make a positive impact, just like those we talked about today. Let's cherish their memories and continue to be inspired by their legacies. Until next time, take care and see you in the next video.